Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Natik Yarns here in Elk Grove, California on the day before LYS Day. And if you read the verbiage that we posted, you should go, if you didn't read it, you should go read it. If you did read it, you know I am debuting products today. We have so many products that we are showcasing for LYS Day. I'm like, let's just release a couple now because it's gonna be too much tomorrow. So I'm super excited. Uh, Susan helped me pick what we were gonna do today. Uh, we have zero yarn. It's just really fun accessories for knitting. Uh, let's see, what if we did yesterday? I designed a pattern and knit it for tomorrow. <laughs> I cast on for secret number five. No, seriously. It's crazy. I would like to cast on for secret number six just to see how far I get on that one. But What's that? The the one the DK one. DK one. From the same company? No. I have no idea what number six is. They did is. the the LYS shawl last year on the cowl of the year before. Oh, yeah, that yeah, one. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there were a lot of projects this year. Susan's been our knitting superstar because luckily we got advances. We did get, we're still waiting on one yarn. Luckily we got an advance of that one. And then we got, was it yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. Yesterday we got another one and I cast on, des designed it, cast on, knit it, and bound off this morning. Oh, you finished binding off? Yep, oh done. Oh my God, that's awesome. It's done. And I left a tail so you could steam okay. it and sew it together. And we need to write a pattern. I mean, just for giggles, let's just keep on going, right? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good morning, good morning for joining us. We hope you guys are excited about LYS Day, as excited as we are. We plan for this probably six months in advance. Um, so many new products you guys are going to see. We will have to go through them really quickly tomorrow. Uh, everyone's asking. They will be live on the website after 10 o'clock because I can't stay up till midnight. Um, I am break. I just finished scooping my cookies. So I'm doing the brown butter flaky sea salt chocolate chip cookies for tomorrow. And I do have some for those who are purchasing and I'm shipping, but I don't guarantee the freshness of them because <laughs> I'm a snob and I want them. I'm literally baking them tomorrow morning because I like fresh, fresh cookies. They're 10 out of 10 amazing, I will say. I'm, oof. I think my cookies are the best in my family. My daughter would argue with it, <laughs> but they, they really are good. I think we need a taste test between yours, hers, and Brennan's. Oh, yeah, no. Mine <laughs> aesthetically look pretty, and that's important to me. They're like flat, flat cookies. They need more flour. No, it's not flour. No. It's chemistry. All right, Karen. Oh, they're so good, you guys. Those of you who have had it, you know. I do, I do it every once in a while, and I really browned the butter. Oh, gosh, they smelled good. I almost had cookie dough this morning. <laughs> and, yes, I eat raw cookie dough all the time I with do too. raw eggs. And guess what? I'm still here in one piece. Never had salmonella. Knock on the countertop, but I feed it to my granddaughter, too. Oh, it's so, so fun. So fun. So much to show you guys today. So we're kind of going to, I'm trying to think if I have anything else to say. Matt is almost done putting my outdoor structure in my backyard. Oh, you got all the hardware? Well, we're still missing some you. more pieces. Oh my goodness. This is five, five emails to them. Wow. They were missing over 200 pieces. Then they sent things mislabeled. Then they sent bent things. But it doesn't matter. I haven't had to do it. So <laughs> I don't good. even care. I'm so excited. So I did get to sit out there yesterday. We'll see what it all looks like when it's all done. Um, My chicken knitters are funny. I know. They're so <laughs> having excited. a conversation here. <laughs> and someone in yesterday, Wednesday's class asked if we would do kits for the chickens. We are going to put together chickens and they're going to be named. So everyone will have their own name and we're going to put eyeballs in there. So we're going to say eyeballs, all the stuffing for the comb and the waddle. It's not stuffed. It's just the comb and waddle are knitted. Well, yes, I know that. 
not none of the stuffing. I misheard them. Yeah, no stuffing. The eyeballs and the yarn and little bits to do the other so you don't have to buy. Um, they're going to be so fun to do. Lots and lots of options for that. Uh, all right, let's talk about our grand prize. It's going to be given away next Wednesday by Susan and Karen. Uh, this is valued at more than $150. We have one of our custom bags created by Judy Dryling. Two skeins of a retired yarn from Noro, Kiri. It is a beautiful blend of silk, wool, and mohair. We have the cashmere goat. A small soak that does, I think, about 12 washes when I figured out the ounces because I use a tablespoon, which that's a great 12 washes for $14.99. We have a I'm the rainbow sheep of my family. And then we have three of our patterns that are available on Ravelry. You have enough to do the medium of all three um, with these two skeins. We have shallots, which is a really beautiful stockinette with yarn over increases and then a pleat. We have sunset in the desert, which is just a knit pearl pattern. And then we have Solmont, which was designed using the sequence book. So it basically keeps going around and around and around because the pattern's more than the stitches that you have. It like it shifts one every time, but it's pretty cool. Valued at more than $150. Susan, how do they enter to win that prize? Every time you make a purchase, you get one entry per purchase. And so the more you purchase, the more, the more purchases you complete, the more entries you get. And we will draw on May 1st. Thank you, peeps. Are they sharing already? All right. They are already sharing. Thanks for all the love. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, Sandy Tokenaga bought one of her bags. They are amazing. They are amazing. They she are. does a great job on her bags. I have been researching what we're going to call the chickens. So I already <laughs> have funny chicken names for these for our chicken kits that will come in a couple of weeks since I'll be gone next week. Next, our daily prize. I love this one. This is, I think this is a new yarn. This, and we don't have it in yet, so very exciting. This is Juniper Moon Summer Solstice Paints. This is a luxurious linen and cotton tweed. And for those of you who are wondering, it is vegan because it's linen, cotton, viscose, and polyester. It is a sport weight yarn, 295 yards. I love the color sequence in that one. I do too. Oh, um, all right. I was just trying to think because Karen has been doing a great job of patterns. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of editing on this one because I think we cannot do it on that bag of a needle. We're going to say a nine because we held two skins of lace weight together. Mm, true. This is so pretty. All right, so this is a very simple pattern called noodles. You can do it with two skeins of lace work held together, or we are going to do the sport weight knit on a nine. I'm going to say to a ten and a half. You cast on, and it is just gorgeous. It has um, increase on one side, pearl on the other. It is in stockinette very beautiful to do. This is just one of our patterns available in our website and on Ravelry. I always say get your pattern on Ravelry. We make less money on it, but the fact of the matter is having it in the library is much easier than it's being sent to you and then it gets lost in the chaos. So we love when you purchase them on Ravelry. It just makes it easier for everyone. Um, all right, let's see how you get entered to win this prize. Every time you react to the video, you're going to get one entry for every reaction. Every comment that you make, you're going to get five entries. All right, so that's going to give you five entries. And the quickest way to do it, uh, to really get some as you share to your stories, you share to your feed. They keep changing what it's called. It used to be friends mm -hmm. and all that. All 
All right. Share there. You do have to pop back in and write specifically where you shared it to. So share to my stories. I still say that. I don't care. Yeah. Share to my friends. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you for sharing. Letters. You guys are going a little fast for me to see on my tiny screen. All right. Thank you, Karen. There we go. So that's going to give you 11 entries for that. So based on yesterday's, uh, let's see who's going to be the winner of this fun prize. All right, oh. Sandra Olive, I think she's Texas. I think so, something like that. Mm -hmm. So as I say, if you're not local, we would love for you to come visit us. And if you do, let us know you have a prize and we will get it from the cabinet. If you cannot visit us in person, next time you make an order, let us know in the notes you have a prize and we will include it in your pretty pink package. Love these bracelets, they'll fit anybody. I packaged these stitch stoppers. Someone's going to get my hair in there. I oh, no. I can see a piece <laughs> of my hair. Don't do any uh, voodoo yeah. things on me. All right. So two things we're going to showcase. We have limited quantities of both of these because LYS Day normally is one and done on a lot of things. Uh, you're going to want to have a second device or have a window open for purchasing. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys these. I think I'll start start with the stitch stoppers. All right. So you guys know I'm all about like really nice. I feel like, and I know this is a middle-aged woman thing, but I like seeing positive affirmations. I think it really makes a difference. I think the first ones we brought into the store were the socks the notes to self that you put on in the yes. morning. And they did a study. If you read the saying in the morning at night or at least twice a day, that it settles into your brain and you start to believe it. So we have some really fun ones that took a lot of work to find um, because we're looking at our knitting all the time. I'm starting to use stitch stoppers because um, things always fall off because I just stick them in my bag. And yes, I have a million knitting bags, but I'm knitting on the go. Like I came up with a project yesterday and just started working on it. Um, so let's talk about this one. I'm going to take it out of the package because, oh no, we can't because I'm so good. I did that. Um, all right. Actually, Angelus, our mic is still on. So I'm not sure what happened with that. So this is, I like these ones. They're double-sided. Yeah. So one side says radiate positivity. And on the other side, it says with kindness. Both Susan and I are going to drop the link so you can go right to it. If you can't get the link, just type in L-Y-S. Thank you, Sandy. I know we had some technical difficulties yesterday. We're not really sure what that was about, but I may have to get a new iPhone to then give my iPhone to the <laughs> store, which I hate that. They're like $1,300. That's crazy. Right? But that's, the, I mean, we need a big one so we can see. We can't have the little ones. We're 50 year olds. <laughs> we got to yeah. see it. Okay, thanks, uh, Angelus. She came, went out and came back in. So these stitch choppers you can put at the ends of your needles. I've even put them on my crochet mm. so that my hook actually stays in my project. You poke both ends of your crochet hook through each one. Um, I've easily gotten them up to a 17. So I'm going to say from a 2 to a 17, they work. They are silicone. Um, and they are beautiful. I love the bright yellow because it brings attention to it. So it's yellow and brown silicone stitch stoppers. And just in time for Mother's Day too, you can give it to your knitting friends. So we have that one. Um, this is my favorite kids book, but I just thought you could give it to your kids or your best friend. It says, I love you to the moon and back. This is a four color design with the sweetest, softest lemon yellow, a beautiful Barbie pink and white lettering on a black background. I love the round ones. I use them a lot for when I'm doing double points. When I'm teaching double points to new people, we have one design on the right, one design on the left, and then I say always in your notes, 
write what design is where you're gonna hold it so that you haven't twisted it, which that happens a lot with people. They twist theirs and then they get yeah. a little corkscrew. All right, so we have those two. And then we have one more. This lucky person's gonna get my hair in this one. But I love this one <laughs> because I know everyone, I mean, being, I just think being transparent, we all can deal with a little bit of anxiety. I think it's um, expectations society puts on us and expectations somehow we've put on ourselves, right? Because we've been told we need to do all the things. And I was just talking to someone um, who's not going to the trade show and she feels really guilty, but she's mm. been gone a lot. And I'm like, listen, I'm sad you're not gonna be there, but I'm glad you're listening to, you need to stay home. You can still order all this stuff. Yeah. So I love this one. Uh, like I said, very, we have limited amounts, I think under six for each of them. This is even my anxiety has anxiety. How many people have that? Yes. Um, for that, right? <laughs> I love this it's one. Tr it's true. So it's sometimes we just have a bad day and it, something sets us off. So this is even my anxiety has anxiety. And I love the rainbow at the bottom. Yes, that is really good. All right, Kathy, I mean, Melanie, yeah. right? I love it. I was like, good for you. Okay, I'm gonna peel this off because I feel bad I'm sending someone my hair. <laughs> and I will just tape over this. Good Lord. And you know, I was probably wearing my glasses when I did this and I did not see it. Do you wanna show them some of the other stitch stoppers that we have? There we go. There's that one out of its package. That's right. And they have, it really wants to stick. A hole on both sides. If you're doing a circular, you can poke it in both sides. Mm, yes. So I've done idea. that too. So these are some of the other ones. We had the Bad Bee Club. You are enough. Joyce, I love that. But Joyce, don't you love the idea of hooking your crochet in your work and then poking both ends so then it sticks? Because I lose crochet Hooks like nobody's business. Yeah, they end up in the bottom of the bag. Uh, this other one says, Coffee owns me, and I'm fine with that. I have to pull it out so I could read it. This one, easily distracted by dogs. That would be me. I know, we haven't even had Hank in here. I like, know. We need to. He's We've so got cute. Cat Mom, fueled by coffee. I might need that one. Yeah. Oh, the little balls. I actually like the little ball ones. They're very fun. I have a set on my, oh, it's on my cashmere project. No, they've got cough cups on the cashmere one. Yeah. Ooh, I love this. I like how you guys put little our hearts. new stickers in a little business card. Was that Karen? No, that was me. Mm, good for you. There we go. We kept shifting them on the video the other day, and I'm like, I gotta find something to put those yeah. in. I like that it's in. it's contained. Yeah. Uh, Shelly says she used little balls on your double points. This For is sure. what I say with double points. Find a green one that goes on the right and a red one goes on the left. So green means go, red means stop. It doesn't matter what the design is. Yeah. And then you just take them off and move them around as you go. All right. So those are just some of the stitch stoppers that we are releasing for LYS Day. I'm really excited about the next one. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> People have asked for this for years. Yeah. It's something that we've had before. And I like to kind of change out what is in the store. Um, I don't like the same stuff. I run it like Costco. When it's gone, it's gone. And it's going to come back in at another point in your uh, journey with us. Okay. I'm really excited. So I should have gorgeous. messaged the Thursday night group because they were like, oh, no. are they coming? <laughs> uh, too late. Okay, so next in the lineup, um, people have been asking for more knitting bags. And so when I was at Trade Show Vegas number one, I saw our knit, a knitting bag company that normally goes to the trade show. And now they're doing gift shows also. Oh, and I was so nice. excited to see the daughter working the booth and they did some custom bags for us, which I love that idea. Um, they are very usable. 
and I think they're nice because they are not just for knitting, they're for other things too, but I love that in my mind they're perfect for knitting and crochet projects because of the design of them. So I'm going to start with probably one of my favorites because I love this print. You guys know camel is the richest color ever. This is a tente, which is made in California. The most beautiful brocade fabric. We have, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of what it's called. It's faux suede. What's that called? Leather is leather, but I don't know no, what faux suede would be. Seems, no, gosh. No, seamstress is out there. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. I can't think of what it's called. I had some. But there's beautiful pockets on the outside. And what they did so that the pocket doesn't flare out, they've taken the time to put a little pleat in the top, which holds it in. So the outside has four pockets to hold all your goodies. Good morning, Conky. Trish, me too. I have some beautiful big ones in my repertoire of bags. The inside has canvas. Oh and I like this. This is a nylon blend, so it's slick, so your stuff doesn't stick to it. There's oh, wow. a big pouch on the inside, four more on the inside. This is the tall caddy. Um, oh my God. Devin, I, that's cool. Devin, I love crystal stores. I know, right? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Devin. I appreciate it. A lot of work goes into this. Uh, as you know. All right, then here's what I love. If you're out and about, you take this on the other side. Ultra suede, is that what yeah, it's called? Yeah, that's what they said. Thank you. Sharon, that came to me right at the second. Okay, then you're gonna take your handle, you're gonna pull it through, and it closes up. Okay, that's awesome. Did you not know that? No, I haven't. Oh, I, I've done the checking and pricing. I think that's a newer one. I did my part, but I didn't even know Seriously, I didn't know there were pockets on the outside. Right? I did not look. It could be a cute little it's purse. So cute. As long as you're not going to a big city that you could be shoplifted. But yeah. to carry your stuff around, a lunch bag, I've seen it. And who doesn't love the classiness of a chevron pattern? Heather says very posh. This is on point absolutely with what's hot in the fashion world right now. Neutral. Um, geometric and the suede, I love it. You can clean it up with, you know, a brush is what I normally do. Okay, uh, I can't wait to show you more. So that is design number one. Hold on, let me get my glasses because I can't read. We're crap. Uh, uh, camel and cream Bargello. Bargello, I think is what you wrote. Or they came that way, Kristen. but it is pronounced well, Bargello. These are handmade specifically for us. So these are not like they have a warehouse for them. I ordered them in January and we just got them. So very, very specific to us. Okay, for all you floral peeps, oh my God, this one screams Natique. Hold on. We'll look it's at something else for a second. of Natique, <laughs> right? Okay, we'll turn you ready? it around. Yep, this is Flora. It is on a navy background. I'm inspired because actually on this side, I fell in love with it because of this That's flower. Pretty. This peony, you guys know I'm in love with peonies. This is a embroidered brocade. It is stunning. A cotton brocade using silk thread. Again, the plates. Who doesn't love a gorgeous chartreuse um, burlap finish or linen? But it has that same thing. Again, four pockets on the outside, four smaller pockets on the inside that are not pleated so you can easily get your hand into it. And one big one, this has black denim and it's a very, very soft denim. And again, they've used this nylon blend in a beautiful khaki to make sure it doesn't snag your yarn. A lot of people don't realize that just the abrasion of your yarn being in cotton or something will fuzz up your yarn. We have this beautiful, very, I'm gonna saw, say pea green, pea green ultra suede. Boop. And then close it up, there you go. Those pleats make it look gathered, it's so cute. Right? 
I just think the attention to detail is amazing on these bags. All right, these are the tall caddies. I did not get the short ones because you can't put as much in them. Okay, if you're a seamstress, you guys know all about fussy cuts. Fussy cuts are manipulating the fabric that you literally have to lay down the piece so that that mm. um, alpaca, is it a banana? It's an alpaca. Okay, thank you. I always get one's a banana, one's not the ears. Um, oh, guess what? Mama Llama. Oh no, we're wrong. <laughs> this is a Mama Llama. They are fussy cut so that it specifically goes to that. Both sides have them. They are different. The beautiful um, light jade background. Remember when I was talking about the nylon, even the insides of these have the nylon to make it so everything is lined in order for it to have the most aesthetics possible to be beautiful and protect your fiber. The, the inside, inside. oh, so seafoam pretty. green ultra suede. We have black ultra suede on the edge. And again, that beautiful dark camel. If you know anything about stitching, they've taken the time to do um, back stitch so nice. that all their tops are beautiful. Again, handcrafted in California, Southern California. Oh my God. Oh, I love this one. And it, it's not even my colors. It's just so cute. It's so cute. I'm gonna put that. We have four more designs for this. For the fancy ladies. That one's stunning. I love this one. This is tonal. So beautiful. If you're, you know, schlepping your way to kids' events and you don't want it to look so dirty. Uh, Lynn, they are on sale right now. I posted. Oh, did it not go through? Good I Lord. I changed, Hold on. I changed my link. It doesn't show on our end, but... Okay. I pinned it. So let me look. Yep. They they are for sale. Yep. I just double checked in the cart. I was like, oh God, did we forget that? No, I, I did we it. We didn't. We did it all. <laughs> this is so pretty. High five for look us. At that, you guys. Boop. Okay. So this is beautiful burgundy tinto. Uh, the damask fabric definitely is highs and lows, very, very rich. It's a burgundy pleather background with a velvet or flocked fabric. If you're a textile person, this is fantastic. I don't even think these are going to make it. I can see the orders coming in now. They're not even going to make it till tomorrow. That's okay. Probably not. I'm going to see a tente next week, so I'll be able to order new styles possibly the tall caddy uh burgundy ultra suede on the outside the inside again is lined with a beautiful background on the inside they have burgundy ultra suede with again that dark camel to protect your knits and crochets crochets how do you say that we say knits you're right your knits yeah. and crochet so you have to you, say something. You're right. Hmm. We need to change everybody's What do you vernacular. guys think we should say? Crochets? Because you know how you say your knits. That everyone Crochets knows what that is. doesn't flow like knits. It doesn't. I don't see why it couldn't be used anyway. We just have to get used to it. All right. Here's another beauty. Um, Kristen would know which ones are the exclusives because we had to do photography for them. Um, crochet makes <laughs> crochet makes that's a good idea I don't know I I, I like words so I'm like mm, that sounds strange uh, this beauty is called backgammon beautiful I love this soft rust with mustard they are not they are very um, generous with the fabrics that they use. So much ultra suede on this and the beautiful, again, there's a linen background and more of a flocked velvet texture to it. I mean, these colors, this would be one that speaks to me. Kristen says that one is exclusive. 
Thank you, friend. Uh, we have beautiful rust, burgundy, chartreuse, a really nice warm sage green on a uh, tan background, almost mushroom with cream. What does the bottom look like? Okay, same color as the upper portion, but- And it has ultra suede. Gorgeous. I'm sorry, we're not available. We'll call you back. Oh, fresh cut. Oh, oh damn. All right, how about you, you talk mean, about give this? Give me another bag and... Um, to no, I'll call them back. Okay. I'm like, that's... that's uh, the um, floor is exclusive. This one. So we'll do this. Thank you. Kristen did help me with the photography or did most of it. So these two so far are exclusive. Um, let me see. Someone asked me what the dimensions are. Let me tell you, it might be in the product description, but we will see. Black is on the bottom of the alpaca. I'm going to guess they all match what their upper color is right here. It is 10 and a half, 10 wide, 11 high, and six and a half deep. Let me just copy Good. that. And you can stuff that sucker like nobody's business. Um, okay. Who's ready to see the next one? Oh. All right. Oh my gosh. I don't know which one to show. The, I'm going to show this one. Oh, I'm going to show this one. Because <laughs> I love the color. I'm going to move these because we're running out of room. Yeah, we are out of room. Put back here. Flora is so pretty. I love the flora. I think the burgundy might be my favorite at the moment. I did look for purple. You guys, that was my suggestion. Don't think I never forget the purple people. There was nothing purplish. Hmm. And I said, what about the purple people? How do we not have that? Okay, love this one. You guys will know, especially with what I'm wearing. This is called Pink Leopard. I believe this is an exclusive to us. Um, so pretty. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this is again beautiful brocade. It is pink. Oh, let me trim that. This is the seamstress in me. Hold on one moment, please. There we go. All right, I love that they're made in California, which means they're paying livable wages in California. Um, good lord package so this beautiful pink fabric on the outside very very soft we've got leopard on the inside with that tan lining oh my god this is so soft you guys more ultra suede on the handle they've all got the little loopy do here for closing as you carry it around same number of pockets everywhere these things are awesome a soft like velvet uh, no, what's everyone's favorite so far this is great. Thank oh Kristen yeah. says this one is exclusive Bye -bye. as well family you like it Kristen says the pink one is exclusive yep yeah. okay you guys know if you notice I'm a leopard girl I love it I like that it's kind of goes, but kind of doesn't go, right? Beautiful, beautiful pink leopard. All right, we have one more of the tall caddies and then we have a beautiful bag that is just crazy good. I love this. So pretty. This isn't even my color, but it speaks to me. It has a beautiful, um, I don't even know what, redwood. This is a yeah. redwood color. I was gonna say rust, but it's not. Um, and beautiful shades of, it's almost like a coral, but it leans more pink. Uh, the background is this beautiful mushroom linen. And then you can see this, just the fabric is top notch, high end, absolutely beautiful. Right, Pam? Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is Lalique, um, the tall caddy gorgeous 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 
I'm going to show you the next one, <laughs> but apparently it's sold out. And if anyone wants it or wants another bag, let me know. I will order it for you. I'm in love with this one. This is, I have one of these. Hold on. Let me do some judging for it. We'll, we'll look at our display up top. Okay. You can see Badger and Bloom and Dolores has a blanket. Let Here we know. go. You ready? Yep. This is the Tiger Pioneer. This is a large satchel. It's definitely a carpet bag. It has the Ooh, little feet. feet on it in a beautiful green. The fussy cut of this one is incredible. You guys see the tiger? And then we've got um, the feet here, but then look at on the edge, there's feet. The butts on the back. Jeez, that's awesome. Right? With the feet on either side. You guys, I can order more. I did not expect this to sell out, but I love it. It has a magnetic nice. closure. So there's magnet magnets along here, and it really clips close. If you open it up, again, you look at how big this is. Camel. Um, on the inside, dark camel, we have two pockets. We have a zipper. I love the handles because it's a rolled handle, which makes it really easy in your hand. All right, whoever wants it, send us an email. Hello at Natique Yarns. We will do a special order for you because I think these are gorgeous. Cat lover meets Mary Poppins. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's a bag. It literally could be a purse. The skinny ones really sit nicely. This is gorgeous. Roxanne, you're good, girl. <laughs> I just think it's stunning. It is a work of art for you to carry around. Definitely a showpiece that people are going to talk to you about it. Remember, if there's one of these that we've already sold out, email me at hello at Natique Yarn. I am so happy to special order more for you. Very easy to do. We take a 50% deposit and we will uh, we'll find out how long it takes to get them. But uh, normally, it's about a month out. That's what we're finding. Love the feet. All right. What do you guys think? Does this make you even more excited about tomorrow? <laughs> this is just a dip your toe into what we're going to showcase tomorrow. You're going to want to watch live. Uh, you can look ahead of time on uh, tomorrow, later tonight. You'll be able to do it if you type in LYS. I will send out an email later on tonight um, to remind you we have free gift with purchase while supplies last. I'm trying to think what else. So much. A custom color, uh, two new designs, chocolate chip cookies, deep brown butter, like, ooh, so good, sea salt, I'm so excited. Um, you fell in love with it, it's beautiful, 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 uh, just so much, and we just wanna say thank you. Even though LYS Day is about celebrating your local store, we would not be your local store without each of you, everything, all the positive kudos. You guys are so amazing about telling us we do a good job or things we need to improve on. We love that. I love that. I love feedback. I think it's really important for me collectively. I want this to be a store that you want to shop in, that you feel supported, and that you feel like part of a bigger community. Um, I think after doing the retreat, I want to do, if I could do the retreat once a month and have different groups come, it was such, I see, um, it was such a community building. I see it in my groups that come in. A lot of my all skills came and I see the friendships got deeper in that time frame, and I love it. And I'm, I'm so excited. I want more of you guys to come. Um, do the retreats with us. So, so fun. Um, what am I wearing? I decided just to, because I'm so loud with my shirt, I've got on one of our uh, cashmere blended scarves with the fur palms. 
Um, you can hit it with a blow dryer. We don't have one here, but I love this. I like really soft things, and I think if I'm wearing something more loud, I like a little more demure wink wink with fur palms. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite so loud, but it's still right up my alley of fun. So um, that's what I'm wearing. We do have a chocolate brown. We have sky blue. They're just beautiful. Very nice to wear. Oh, I love that, Melanie. Right, Demir? Look at, I thought of that word that fast. Boop, boop. All right. It ups my outfit. I absolutely agree. And it's a little freaking cold. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Today. This is Wrap It Real Good. I don't know if you can see the whole thing now. My, my scarf. Cover. This is the one we were kind of talking about. We're like, oh, you did one, but we couldn't remember what it was. Yeah. I pulled it out of the chest. Your shirt's busy. So you can't see it as well, but will you take your shawl cuff off so that we can show this one? These were kits that we did with Dream and Color that they put it together for us a few years ago. We would love to help you create your own. Okay, we'll come in a little bit. Do you want me to move? Yep, yeah, I can only move. There we go. Look at this gorgeous. This is an Amba O'Brien but it really showcases what yarns that don't actually go together all the way still look fantastic. And there was enough left over that she did a cowl. What was it, that? Escama del Dragon. Oh, that's right. Escama. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what it means, but it that's what happen. it is. All right, my lovelies. Oh, nice. Karen Kashi Wagi made two scarves out of her kit. Oh, nice. All right, lovies. We will pack up your things today. I uh, stayed late last night and did all the mailing, so that's done. Whew, what else can I say? I don't know. Just thank you. We're excited. It's been a great day. Uh, we will be open 11 to 5 today, 11 to 5 tomorrow. Don't forget LYS Day. You guys will get to see all the rest of the goodies tomorrow. So we will see you soon and have an amazing day. Bye-bye.